Hey, what's going on, man? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, y'all, check this out, man. You know, go to boxing scene to check this out. Man, according to the IBF, man, you know, everybody's favorite, supposed to be superstar, everybody's supposed to be so-called popular fighter from the UK, Amir Khan, turned down a elimination bout with Timothy Bradley, you know, for last April of 2015, which means he had a chance to fight mm -hmm. Tim Bradley in a eliminator bout, and he turned it down. Okay, this is more proof what we trying to test you guys about Amir Khan, man. He has the right name because he's a fucking con job. And all these clowns that be sitting up here supporting this dude, you know what I'm saying? If you think I'm lying, go look at the article, man. Now, what's your excuse now, man? You didn't hurt me. You didn't hurt tickets. You didn't hurt coach. You didn't hurt, you know, a couple other guys criticizing this dude for fucking around and sitting on his ass and not trying to get in the ring instead of sitting up waiting around for Manny Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather. This guy just wants a high-profile fight. That's pretty much it. Amir Khan does not want to stay in boxing long-term. He wants a, I guess, a high-profile fight, a big payday. Then he wants to bow out and do something else because he's not serious about boxing. Otherwise, his ass would be trying to get in the ring because obviously he's not trying to fight Kell Brook. Actually, he would make more money fighting Kale Brook than he would fighting Manny Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather. If I'm not mistaken, they offered him like $10 million American money to fight Kale Brook. And he has turned it down several times, made several excuses. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the deal is with Khan and his belligerent fans, just belligerently naive, stupid fans believing that this dude is just like the real deal. You know, what's the deal with this dude? Why won't he get his ass in the ring? But Floyd ducking him. Yeah, right. But Manny Pacquiao supposed to be ducking him. Yeah, right. But then this guy won't take a fight with anybody. Don't want to fight Sean Porter. Don't want to fight Keith Thurman. As you know, don't seem to be interested in fighting Kale Brook. You know what I'm saying? Been sitting on his ass since June, not doing shit. 28 years old. Has not tried to make a fight whatsoever. Plenty of guys out there for him to fight, but he refuses to get his ass in the ring. And now that Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather have both told this dude that he's not as big as he think he is, well, what is he doing now? You ain't heard about him negotiating, trying to get in the, get in the ring. Eddie Hearn has said he could set up this fight for June at Wembley Stadium. 80,000 people, him and Kell Brook. Most likely, It'll be on pay-per-view out there. So it equals big money. But have you heard Amir Khan say anything? This guy's a fucking fraud, man. So, I mean, y'all Amir Khan fans, just cut the shit, man. Ain't nobody trying to hear this shit. So let me get this straight. He think he can beat Floyd Mayweather. He think he can beat Manny Pacquiao. But he don't think he can beat Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley is not exactly known as being a monstrous puncher. Okay. Yeah. Case closed on Amir Khan. Shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit about Khan no more. Matter of fact, his new name is Amir Khan Job because that's his fucking name. That's his new name. Amir Khan Job. He's a fucking Khan Job. I'm out.